a three hour drive north. We got a wide open cylinder choke and a seven and a half bird shot, AKA cheap target load. We're uh, gonna be hiking these ATV trails. We're just gonna uh, take our time and be ready to shoot. What you're looking at is the kind of habitat you're gonna find grouse. Uh, you've got lots of ferns. We've got a trail. There's uh, here and there, there's a bit of gravel on the trail. Um, we've got some evergreens back there. We've got uh, a good amount of uh, cover on the ground. Well, I've been at it uh, almost an hour and a half. And I'm surprised I have not flushed any birds. Now, I hear that they're active at like dusk and dawn but i wonder if that's regurgitated information because at dusk end of the day yeah but first thing in the morning all the the grass is still wet you know from the dew i never never see the grouse then and then i think the grouse start coming out once once things start drying out the best time to hunt grouse is on a nice day right after the weather's been kind of nasty for a bit. Today, well, it's just a, another nice day of many. Now, what made me keen on hunting this area is about a week ago, I was doing some work up here. And the one day after work, my dad and I came out here for just about 30 minutes. And we just walked not even a kilometer down a trail and flushed two grouse. I'm just doing a little bit of scouting with the truck. There's a bunch of grouse feathers. I'm gonna drive on down that old log road. I'm gonna drive till I can't no more. And then I'm gonna hike it. Yeah, I'm gonna hike it. All right, let's uh, get into one of these lunch mateys. All right, it's uh, just about one o'clock and we are gonna keep on keeping on. Oh, we flushed one. That's awesome. There's this little side trail here. It actually looks like it might go around to the other side of the... Jeez. Oh, I missed up. 
Oh, I messed up. That was so close. Oh my gosh. Oh man, that was should have been a dead bird sitting there talking to the camera. All right, hopefully we can get this freaking bird. There's grouse around here. Wow. Would you look at that? Hooey. That's sweet. It's in uh, not too bad of shape. Wow, that's cool. That's so cool. Alright, I'm going to leave that right there. I'll be able to find it when I come back for it. Oh, that grouse was sitting right there. Right on that like first branch there. Couldn't quite see, you could hear him flapping. I couldn't, couldn't get a shot. That's that grouse, the, the one that I was talking to the camera. He came right over here. And then I went off that way looking for the first one. All right, so it's a straight line there. And I think there's like a little bit of a creek here. I think there's a trail on the other side of the creek. Jeez. I'll grab those shells after. Jeez. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it took off a little farther that time. Um, or it's up in one of these trees comfortable enough to just stay put. I was starting to think I was just going to keep flushing that grouse the rest of the day. Man, really close, really close every time. Especially that first one when I was talking to the camera. Thing was right in front of me, and I'm I'm just looking at it like flying away for like three four seconds. Like, jeez, well, I better stop talking to the camera now. I might do it again. All right, three thirty now. I uh, drove down the road a ways, and I'm gonna hike down this uh, side trail. Another pile of feathers here. We are back where we started today's hunt, and that is because last week when I was working up here, we flushed a couple grouse in this area grouse live in the same area their entire lives so unless some other hunters got into them it's a good idea to come back and and check out areas that you've flushed or seen grouse in the past um, because one of those times you're probably going to get on the bird again and and that's what i've done at home quite a bit um, i will frequent spots where i know i've seen them before and uh you know eventually I get them so yeah let's uh, put in one last effort here it's almost 4 30 um, I'll hike the trail and then I'm even gonna go off trail a bit and just try to cover the area and see if we uh, we can't get this done well the final lesson of the day is we don't always get to be successful I'd say with experience, I've brought my success rate from about 20% up to uh, 
a good 60%, but I still have to accept uh, the days that I don't get anything. Some feathers. That's the prize of the day right there. That's sick.